I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Edgy. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, uh, I guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. It makes things look bigger. I've got enough to last me. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. 
John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display? I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? I'd see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. I'll have a look around. Please do. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. There's some very tiny writing on it. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Malay jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. How on earth do you have that note? Oh yeah, that's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. It's locked. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What was this cinder you got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here, on Melee. That's a nice oar. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. 
but I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eating. Tell me again about the eye patch. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used ships. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's good for relieving stress. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? Wally. I'm looking for a map through the forest. What are you trying to find in the forest? I don't know. Nothing in particular. Then having a map won't really be any different than wandering around lost, will it? Yeah, but I mean, well, never mind. So the lookout is still kicking. Yep. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. If one monocle is good, two is better. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Welcome back. I checked the display case and it seems fine. So we're open for business again.
What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Hey, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. And only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes. Sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It's those three clowns at the back table. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Fine. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions?
How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What kind of wood did you say the tree was? I didn't. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree. I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Well, it's definitely a mop. Stay away from my mop! Active little guys, aren't they? Looks like a mugshot. Stay away from that picture! It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck several times. Super ironic that sailing with him is the only way you're getting to Monkey Island. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Can you charge John Leaney's eye patch up for me? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Leaney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? 
It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? No. I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I... I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with threads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, Purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue.
Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. Never mind. Note to the reader, no disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. It's thicker than I would have imagined. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. I can tell you no more. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Here. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You'd better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? No, I'll keep it with me always. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty.
I found this at the governor's mansion. Ha ha! The mystery dish must be in there! I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Skybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent. <laughs> Ingredients indeed. I carved it off the cook's mop handle. Good times. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. My brilliant deduction is that the museum is closed. It's the Museum of Pirate Lore, but it says it's closed. The light's off. Looks like they're closed. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. I must have startled them while I was whittling them. I made him up. I think I'm ready to set sail.
I'll take a shortcut back. I'll wait until I'm closer to LeChuck's ship. No need to scare the melee town folk. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Hi there, you must be the quartermaster. Yep, you look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby, it's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see, stick, tangle a boat line. <sighs> smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem. We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab, and I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule, you are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is... I throw you back down here! Nothing's worse than this! <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now. Get to work! <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. No way am I picking that up with my hands.
<laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh. Oi, you missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Looks like you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I wonder what it's made out of. Oi! You missed a spot! Oh, nuts! Close enough. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Close enough. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Eww. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. It's working! That's a big rudder. That's a big rudder.
That's a big rudder. I think that's the Chuck's cabin, but it wasn't on the introductory tour. I can't see anything. This one doesn't open. This one doesn't open. I can't see anything. your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, Obviously, we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then! Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. Please? Spare me your dull entreaties. I cannot be moved, uh, figuratively speaking. I really think you should come with me. No. You won't learn much here in the hold. Wrong. The hold is a treasure trove of information. The nature of the cargo, the state of the hull, the battle-ready chickens, and slow-witted zombies. Hey. I've got a lot of important spying to do down here. Leave me to it. I really think you should come with me. No. I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. 
I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. You may transport me. That is one revoltingly... <laughs> Skull isn't flat. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax. I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. Deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. Uh, sorry to intrude, your ghastliness. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead! I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Ooh, I can't decide which is more disturbing. The Chuck somehow stealing Elaine's wedding veil, or him having a copy made. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Unky Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck! Where's your mop? And also... I... 
First swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, writing me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. 